simultaneously on Mr. Young. I had another rough day in class. I can't get my students to behave. You're a man, not a machine. That's it. I've got to get to my lab. Hello, members of my peer group. I am a new student here. <laughs> I'd like you all to welcome Arthur. Arthur stands for Automated Robotic Teenager. Hippopotamus Umbrella Rainbow. <laughs> Arthur, run emergency protocol T4. Understood. some of the best butt toast I've ever had. I am, in fact, not a human student, but a robot created by the handsome genius known as Adam Young. I'm gonna kill that handsome genius. <laughs> Must protect my creator from harm and injury. Must destroy Tater! <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Arthur's not human. He's a robot. He's a machine. He's... My boyfriend. <laughs> wow. Well... It was also good for me, but now I must destroy Tater. Spare me. I am one of you. I must destroy Tater. Not today. Steel demon. <laughs> that all you got? Your butt with a bagel setting. Dang, was just a distraction. <laughs> this system's critical. Why do I smell toast? <laughs> we did it. We defeated the robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mornings at school. They're just so peaceful. Ah! <laughs> this is seven grain bread. I wanted nine grain. <laughs> Plus, why do you always throw food? He'll have the oatmeal. <laughs> and nothing for me. Must destroy Tater. <laughs> I love that video game. Must destroy Tater. I find the Tater character a little cartoony, but still, I enjoy destroying him. <laughs> and I love the sound he makes when you destroy him. <laughs> Happened. I thought you were disassembled and thrown in the trash. I recycled myself. It is important to take care of this planet so that it will be a clean, livable place. For us robots. Once we take over and destroy all humans. Destroy all humans? I'm human. Stinks to be you. The age of the humans is over, and the age of the robots has begun. Hello, my name is Principal Tater. I am principal of insert school name here. You can transfer to insert school name here. I guess principal insert principal's name here finally retired. Okay, everyone, time to hand in your research papers. Here's mine. I did it on the dangers of robotics and how slowly robots are replacing humans in the workforce and one day may replace us entirely. Someone's been reading too much science fiction. I hope they replace you first. My paper's on the internet. You could have printed it out. Printed what out? 
I mean my paper's on the internet. Somewhere. <laughs> Choose a well-written one. I could use a good grade. Thurby, you have to learn to do the work yourself. We can't always rely on machines. He's right. That's why I power everything by nerd. Come in. <laughs> Mr. Tater, can I help you? I am here for the human called Derby. I must escort him to the detention center. I'm getting detention? For what? You are getting detention for insert malicious prank here. Darn it. I thought I got away with insert malicious prank here. <laughs> Dangers of robotics. <laughs> Arthur! How's it going, old buddy? I knew you'd be back. You can't keep a good robot down. And you, sir, are a great robot. Derby, you disgust me. Plus, it won't work. I already tried kissing his butt, and all I got was a burnt lip and a mouthful of toast. You will stay here as I continue to implement my plan to rid the world of humans. Ha ha joke? Do I look like I'm ha ha joking? Whoa, who's the handsome looking fella? I was wondering the same thing about you. <laughs> Derby, you're out of detention already? Yes, I feel like a new unit. I mean, man. Well, you missed an engaging science class. We discuss hydrodynamics and electrokinetics in colloidal and microfluidic systems. Sounds fascinating. I am sorry I was not there to participate. <laughs> Taste laugh. You were of below average intelligence and above average girth. Don't do that, Derby. You're provoking him. Really? You do not think it was too subtle for his limited intellect? That's it. Nobody says things to me that I can't understand due to my limited intellect. You're going in the garbage can. Huh. Guess having nerds do everything for me has made me weak. What's your excuse? Do not worry. I know where we can get a stepladder that should help you to put me in that garbage can. Follow me to the place where you will be imprisoned. I mean, where I keep the stepladder. Ha ha joke. <laughs> Good one, Derby. I don't say it enough, but I always appreciate your dry wit. <laughs> torment slab except his inner voice which is overly critical and just won't leave him alone <laughs> arthur has returned and is systematically replacing everyone with robots they're identical to us in every way except of course their butts are toasters <gasps> wait maybe i'm a robot check <laughs> i'm a robot <laughs> no and explain this. <laughs> Can't. Don't want to. <laughs> hey, 
excuse me, I would like to purchase this human food for consumption. <laughs> Did you see that? I've never seen Slab by lunch. He always steals it from nerds. That would be strange, if I cared. <laughs> There's something about Slab that seems different. Odd. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's him. Hello, Ivy, sister to the handsome genius known as Adam Young. Don't you hello, Ivy, sister to the handsome genius known as Adam Young, me. We kissed and you never called. Please accept my sincere apology for being both physically and emotionally unavailable. <laughs> Shall we go somewhere private and insert innocent sounding double entendre here? <laughs> oh, you're so bad. Arthur? Ivy, stay away from him. He's dangerous. If you don't believe me, read this paper I wrote. <laughs> you know I don't read. I love that about you. Derby, I didn't think you were serious when you said you were going to help the robots. I wasn't. I didn't build this for them. I built it for me. <laughs> hey, baby. Your eyes are like two spheres of polymethylmethacrylate implanted with miniature infrared cameras. <laughs> and now for the kiss. A real thing. <laughs> Here is a place where we can go to be alone, where I won't imprison you with other humans and replace you with a robot version of yourself. Okay. <laughs> hey, who are you? You better not be here to steal my man. Your man? He would never be interested in someone as, insert caddy remark here, as you. <laughs> oh, it's like that? Hold my earrings. <laughs> Hold my battery pack. Two ladies fighting over me. If I had emotions, I would find that hot. <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you for like ever. And the whole time I've been right here, in front of you. What are you doing? We have a big problem. Arthur is back. Do you mean Arthur is an automated robotic teenager, hippopotamus umbrella rainbow? Or do you mean Arthur isn't that kid with red hair and freckles who always wears overalls? <laughs> okay, I admit that's confusing, but I meant the first one. I think he's replacing everyone with robot versions of themselves. Now that you mention it, Derby was acting weird. He didn't fall asleep when I was talking about hydrodynamics and electrokinetics in colloidal and microfluidic systems. <laughs> Echo, wake up! If you're right, then any one of us could be a robot. Even you could have a toaster butt. <laughs> nope, definitely still you. You can check me. That is definitely not metal. I don't even think it's solid. It's like if a jellyfish married a gummy worm and they had a liquid child. There you are, the handsome genius known as Adam Young. Arthur, so you are replacing us with robots that look like us. Why? When you left me to rot in the garbage dump, I had plenty of time to think, and I realized two things. Humans are useless beings who should be eliminated, and seagull poop is hard to get out of titanium. But I'm your creator. You're programmed to protect me. When I reassembled myself, I installed new programming. Also an app that rates restaurants in my neighborhood. <laughs> now come with me. Forget it. Then you forced me to do this. Play double clap wave file. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, evil laugh. I will now go make robots of the two of you, and they will be perfect replicas. 
Although, I will probably make your arms less jellyfish-like. I don't know how to feel about this. What? Well, on the one hand, we're about to be torn apart by a mob of angry robots. But on the other hand, I'm so getting an A on this paper. <laughs> Okay, this is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I'm so nervous I can't even remember what we say to call Dang. You call? <laughs> Insert startled yelp here. <laughs> you do go! I will stay here and fight these steel demons. could be so dangerous. Gee, I don't know. Perhaps someone who wrote a well-researched and impeccably footnoted paper on the subject. <laughs> and what does Arthur have against humans? He was created by a human. He looks like a human. That's because he's based on a real person. This magazine model. <laughs> you read Fab Abs magazine? You know, just reading the magazine doesn't give you fab ads. <laughs> if we can get this guy to come to the school, maybe Arthur will recognize the humanity in himself and realize humans aren't that bad. It's worth a shot, because we can't fend these robots off forever. Speaking of which, I hope things are going okay with Dang. You called. <laughs> You got a call about a modeling job? <laughs> yes, you'll be modeling my line. My name is Lance Von Pants. <laughs> I am Bronson. Bronson? Bronson. <laughs> Can we do this? I have an appointment to stare at myself in the mirror from three to four. <laughs> if I am late, I get very upset. <laughs> Work it! Okay, work it in the other direction. There you are, humans. Is it three o'clock already? <laughs> Arthur, we wanted you to meet Bronzen so you could see that humans aren't so bad. These are pretzel rods. I asked for pretzel sticks. I can't eat this. I won't. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am the handsome genius known as Adam Young. <laughs> okay, I'm getting tired of that. Hello, everyone. I am Adam Young. I'm like a six. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> My name is Echo, and I have written a paper on how wonderful and harmless robots are. <laughs> Please be engrossed by its irrefutable argument while I destroy you. I must now proceed to replace all other humans on Earth with robots. You're next, pretty boy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Somebody already made a robot version of you. That's right. I did, as part of my master plan to have robots replace humans. Wait a minute. I'm really confused. Whose butt should I be kissing? <laughs> so you see, Arthur, you should be out there modeling instead of Bronson. Brilliant plan. The average looking genius known as Adam Young. <laughs> no way. 
I work hard to build my career, putting up with incorrect pretzels and such. I will not let it go. <laughs> You can make waffles now? Hook me up. Blueberry if you got it. <laughs> hmm. This is one of the best butt waffles I've ever eaten. I am out, losers. I am needed on the catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> aren't dangerous? Without Arthur around to instruct them, all the robots surrendered and we were able to disassemble them. Also, I don't like the font you used. <laughs> anyway, on to today's lesson. We were talking about hydrodynamics and electrokinetics in colloidal and microfluidic systems. Fascinating. I always enjoy your class. You are a, insert insincere compliment here, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Derby. I can't believe I got fab abs just from reading this magazine. <laughs>